But what's interesting about the question, what is Britishness, is precisely the fact that nobody seems to know. It's gold for a columnist. It's gold for any hack. Um, and you've seen uh, four people on this panel are probably going to give completely different answers. Anybody you ask in this audience is going to give a different answer. If you ask David Cameron, it's about tolerance and fairness and inviting French, in, uh, French people in to take advantage of our lenient tax system. Um, if you ask a pupil at Wellington College, uh, growing up in these lovely surroundings, they'll tell you probably about the, te the excellent teaching here, but they will also tell you about grime and dubstep and whatever it is they're listening to. If you ask me, and um, I've actually recently been living in, in America for a while, so I get asked this question quite a lot. And um, I bring up things like the taste of fish and chips on Brighton Beach and Doctor Who and drinking tea. That's what it is for me. Um, if you ask somebody like my colleague Professor Starkey, it's playing xenophobia and racial prejudice for laughs. And if you ask people who organise people who organise conferences like this, it's sitting by politely whilst people play racial prejudice and xenophobia for laughs and pretending that this is an acceptable part of contemporary debate. We're setting up a false dichotomy here between Britishness and Englishness. They're not Britishness at an all. Absolute dichotomy. Um, they are, the two are completely different. There is a historic English identity which goes way back before the concept of Britain. Also, this notion of England, uh, or indeed Britain, as uniquely a nation of immigrants is preposterous. Um, that every European country is a blend. Of course it is. Um, the great, there are two great differences. I the believe you have a house in America, Mr. Stuckey. I have Professor a house Stuckey. in America. <laughs> I was wondering, um, where are you uh, domiciled for tax purposes? I am yeah. domiciled here, and I pay full taxes. And can I just say, <laughs> as you have chosen, as you have chosen to be personal and invidious, let me share a little story with you. One of the great, one of the great things that is essential to Britishness is a sense of public duty, that you do things for nothing with organisations that can't pay. Ms. Penny who has been advertising these great left-wing virtues and I, were due to debate for a very impoverished little society called the Thomas Paine Society on the virtues of a republic on the one hand and a monarchy on the other. I, I was prepared to do it for free. She insisted on trying to charge such a large fee that the event had to be cancelled. Now, I think that is as mean, that is as mean, that is as mean and grasping as, as, as some runt comedian. And I will not be lectured to by a jumped up public school girl like you. I came from the bottom and I will not have it. Excuse me. May I... May I respond to that? Right of reply. Go on. May I, I... I think I deserve a right of reply to that. Um, I... Personally, uh, feel that asking to be paid. Did you or did you not do what I've just said? I was going to respond to that, but. Why not do it straight away? Did you or did you not claim such a large fee that the event had right, to be right, cancelled? No, I, di I didn't, Mr. Well, then, then every member of the committee is lying, and you clearly, as usual, are telling the truth. No, this is not what was said to me. Um, uh, I, I have emails. All, all right, that wonderful, all right, all right, all right. You know, wonderful method of tracking. To it, Laurie, no, I don't think. To actually, I don't think I'm going to respond to it. Um, I was well, one of the reasons the, ev the event was cancelled partly because they couldn't find a speaker in time because they were trying to fly me out, and part of the reason that you know part, the the cost for that on top of my being asked to be paid for two days' work because I actually don't <laughs> I actually don't own very much. Well, um, they had two pretty good speakers. There well, no, exactly. she backed out because she wasn't being paid. Anyway, um, I'm sorry. Excuse me. We're 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 we're, we're running over time, but I, I want to come back. To, I to I this just point I about, really don't appreciate being stood on stage to yeah. be um, personally okay. attacked and having a um, finger jabbed in my face. I want to come back face. to Englishness versus Britishness. But well, for Vivian, <coughs> yeah, I don't know if you can hear me, but I, mean, I think the Final point about Tom, Laurie. Um, I think um, I'd like to say something about. Britishness in terms of what's just gone on here, which I feel like we've been moving on very quickly from. But um, I attempted to make a point and was had a person on this panel shouting and pointing in my face. And in fact, um, the point that Mr. Professor Starkey raised about my dropping out of a panel where we were due to speak together, the, my, my main reason for doing so is that I didn't want something like that to happen. I felt that I was being set up to be attacked and uh, part of the reason I decided to this is a difficult thing to say and it's easier to say to event organizers that you're going to charge a ridiculous sum of money 
and be us and uh, well not not necessarily ridiculous but be and and uh, be us to uh, go right. on the other not on the other excuse me excuse me it's, i haven't okay. finished my point i haven't finished my point my point is that this is what debates like this come down to there is there's a there's a civil way of putting yeah, yeah, yeah. ways uh, put, putting racial putting uh, racial prejudice. There is also there yeah, is also a vi I'm sorry. Okay, okay, Laurie. Uh, I want a final word. I wanted to say that there's a violence inherent in this this in in this discussion, and it comes out very very easily. You started it. That's the problem. You called him a racist. You he is a racist. It. Yes. OK, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed. OK, I think what we're going to do at this point is uh, call a halt to proceedings. I'm sure the debate is going to go on. Thank you very much to our panel. Uh, if uh, you could show your appreciation to our panel. Thank you very much. And the debate goes on. Thank you very much. We'll be uh, back shortly.